this team hasn't faced a loss, a lot of adversity yet this season. And in the last few games, like five out of six, it has. And I was wondering how that, how you face that in the locker room and how you build from that. I think it's part of the process. I hadn't been on a team that hadn't faced adversity in the season. Um, especially when we're nearly halfway through, we're 40 games in and, you know, we finally hit a little rut, hit a little bump in the road. And um, I think we've had some very, uh, uh, productive conversations with our coaching staff about how we can get out of the ruts. Um, you know, just some some of the things that we can focus on off the court that that would be beneficial to us. So, um, I think we've taken some positives out of you know the in the position that we're in right now. Because it can go two ways. It can kind of try to explode a team and, and eat at you, especially when someone like Demar is out for 21 games. But it, it hasn't done that. No. I I think the morale is still pretty good in the locker room. Uh, again, we're nearly 40 games in. Um, obviously, we're not playing at the level that we would like to be playing at, but um, we've taken a lot of positives out of the adversity that we have faced. What skill set of DeMar's is being missed on the floor right now? He's an all-star. So when you're all-star, you know, on the video games, you're like a 90-plus. He has about a little bit of everything, so we could use him. <laughs> is he still finding a way to lead? Absolutely. He's been um, very encouraging. Um, uh, before games, after games, he still leads our huddles. Um, you know, he's still the guy that's, that's outspoken. Um, he's very much involved. He's, he's just sitting there watching film right now. He hadn't played in two months, so uh, he's been very involved. For both you and the team, things have changed this stretch as compared to the beginning of the season. Have you been able to notice anything, or is there anything that you can point out as to where things have changed? Yeah, we just hadn't played with the same energy that we started the season with. And I think that just comes with fatigue and just being at that point of the season where, you know, games are coming at you fast. And uh, some days you just you just can't find it. Um, and I think that's the great thing about this team. We're, we're deep. We're a deep group. We have guys that can step in night in and night out when somebody else doesn't have it. But I just feel like these past couple of weeks uh, together, we hadn't found um, enough to win basketball games. Is there a difference in the way the second unit plays uh, with James uh, moving over to the first unit? Uh, I think it's this, I think we I think we play the same. I don't think James plays the same. I think his role is different when he plays with the first group and when he plays with the second group. But I think overall the group, uh, I think we still have the same same focus and goal when we go out there. How does his game change? I just think he's more he's he's more in a in a facilitating uh, role when he's with the first group and when the second group we expect him to be a lot bit more a lot more aggressive, uh, take more chances on the offensive end and uh, on the defensive end to kind of anchor us and on that first group. Uh, just feel like he's one of the guys, you know, obviously that's a group where, where Kyle leads and uh, James just plays more of a defensive role on that group. Lou, you talk about DeMar as being an all-star. There's another guy on the team that could very well make it to the all-star game as well. Uh, what's the case to be made for having Kyle Lowry as the all-star game? I think Kyle's playing great. I, I think, you know, in my honest opinion, I think he's done enough at this point uh, to, lock, to lock himself in. You know, obviously this is a, uh, you know, the starting five is a fan voting. You have guys that have soup machines behind them that's going to make sure they get tons of votes. But I think um, his, play, his play speaks for itself. I definitely think he should represent us in this year's All-Star Game. When you guys sit down like on today and you watch film, is there, are there certain breakdowns in the defense that you guys are seeing uh, you know, that have cost you some games over the last six? Yeah, just, uh, just attention to detail. It's, it's things that uh, we, uh, we already know that we're doing wrong. We realize that it's happening, and it's, uh, again, for whatever reason, we're just at that point where um, we're allowing it to happen uh, uh, too common for us. You know, it's, it's just too common at this point. We know the mistakes that we're making. It's just a matter of um, just coming in as professionals and correcting those mistakes.